Well, you were here at Monkfish. Uh, he's been a revelation over fences, of course. He was a Cheltenham winner last year at the festival when he won that novice hurling battling style. Yes, very brave. I don't know how he got up, but it shows the battling quality that he has. Um, you know, as you can see, he's a huge horse. I think I'm measuring him here at about 17.2. Uh, but he's a light-framed horse, uh, which probably, hopefully, fingers crossed, easier to keep him sound. You know, he's not a big, heavy horse. Uh, light on his feet, doesn't take a lot of training once he's fit. And um, he just seems a natural jumper, you know. He does, and uh, I thought Paul Townend's body language the last two times riding, he, he really enjoyed riding. I must give him a great feel through race. He did. I mean, he came in after Lepistan and thought that um, he could have easily lined up in the Gold Cup that day. That's the sort of ability that he showed him, and that's the feel he was getting off him, you know. So um, he looks a really exciting prospect for the future. He does, and of course, he won the race at Florida Pearl in the past, amongst others. Um, how would he measure up in your head? I know it's a hard see, thing to see. See, they were totally stage. different horses. Uh, you know, Florida Pearl had so much speed, and he was very keen in his races. This fella just drops everything, just gallops and jumps, whereas Florida Pearl wanted to get things done very quickly. And um, a different type of horse. This fella is a much more relaxed individual. Yeah, and of course, the yeah, Dublin Racing Festival all is a good trial, and uh, the way he improved from Christmas to the Dublin Racing Festival, you'd hope yeah. going into Cheltenham, he's on the up, really on the up. Well, I, well yeah, I hope he's going up, uh, but I'd say he beat Latest Exhibition by further, but I'm, I'm just wondering, I think Latest Exhibition maybe didn't improve, um, you know, and it might have uh, showed this fell off a little bit more, but um, as long as he could hold that same ability, I'm hoping that, that will put him in the picture over there. Indeed, it will. Best luck. Thanks very much. Good chap. Willie, we're here with Shaq on Poor Swall, of course. He's on course for the Champion Chase, and uh, it's a race you've yet to win, but this lad looks like it's a real contender this year. Yes, it was very disappointing last year to be there, and then the morning of the race, he had a stone bruise. And, uh, you know, stone bruise can last anything for, you know, if you, if you can release it, it'll immediately, pain will go away, but this fellow's. Whatever he did last year, it lasted four or five days. And, um, and yeah, the last minute was very disappointing. Yeah, disaster in some respects, but he's back and he's back going well. And uh, he's three from three this winter with you. You've had a clear run with him, I think, for the first time since you've had him. Yeah, I got him out earlier this season and he went down to Mallow and won. And then um, back up to Leperstown twice. So he's been good, touch wood. So, um, you know, hope to get him there this year and actually run him and uh, we'll see what, what things are like. And do you think getting that preparation into him, getting more races in a consistent manner will stand him this year? I, I think so, yeah. He's, um, I'm hoping it does anyhow. So, you know, he's got great ability and he, he shows it all the time. So we just need to show it on the day that matters, maybe. Fantastic race course, Queen Mother. Great, great history to the race, and uh, you have yet to win it. But Unda saw and a few of them gone close in the past. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a race we'd love to win. I mean, it's probably one of the best races in Cheltenham to watch. You know, two mile chasers flying at top speed over the first few fences. Uh, they just keep it up the whole time. Um, it, it's a fantastic spe spectacle to watch. Excellent. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks. Willie, looking ahead to the Cheltenham bumper, it's been a very lucky race for you over the years. Kilcrut and Romelia's, uh, Kilcrut was very impressive when winning at the Dublin Racing Festival. Yeah, Kilcrut was hugely impressive. Um, I mean, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw what was unfolding coming up the straight in Leperstown, uh, because I thought Romelia's is a horse that could improve more than Kilcrut going to Leperstown, but um, Patrick was adamant that he was sticking on Kilcrut for Michael Masterson, and he proved correctly. Ramillay's ran a terrific race, and I think he'll, he, will, he will be improving all along. I think Kilcrut probably doesn't need to improve, and with his build and stature, I think he's a long, lean horse, tall horse, who does things very easy. He doesn't take a lot of training, whereas Ramillay's takes a lot of training, but um, Kilcrut is probably going to be hard to beat on the day if he arrives there in the same form he was in in Leperton. But once again, I'm thinking that um, maybe Ramillies might give him a fright. He might get nearer to him this time, but two nice horses to have going there. They are indeed, and of course, 
it's Kilcroot, not Kilcroot or anything else. And there's a good history to this horse's name, of course. Your mother. Well, well, it's just it's the townsland uh, from where my mother was born and bred, which is just as the crow flies, only a few miles away from Deninga. Um, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's we always know it as Kilcroot. I was uh, actually surprised when I saw the spelling w with the I in the middle of it. Um, but anyway, it's, it's pronounced Kilcroot. Um, it always has been.